More with less, always brought to you by Cooney Lexus of Greenwood Village. What's the name of it? <laughs> oh, man. Where'd you have dinner last night? I was sw I swallowed a water bed. All right, so I was futzing around on the what? computer last night. <laughs> what? You're watching language. <laughs> I was futzing around on the computer last night, doing some reading, you know, returning some emails, and I had the TV on in the background. It was late. Wasn't much sports-wise on TV except for some West Coast Conference tournament games and one NBA game, Cleveland against San Antonio. And being more of a pro guy, that's the game I watched, the Cavaliers and Spurs. And boy, am I glad I did. Great game, went to overtime. The Cavs won in San Antonio. But what made it really great was Kyrie Irving's performance. The Cavs point guard went off for 57 points, 11 of them in overtime. That's the second time this year he's gone off for 55 or more. I felt like I was watching one of the greats, like Larry Bird or Bernard King or Pistol Pete Maravich, Steph Curry. He was stroking it like nobody's business. Careful. You know, it's easy to forget how good Kyrie Irving is. Before LeBron James went back to Cleveland, Irving, Irving might have been the best player in the NBA that nobody talked about because it was Cleveland, and they lost a lot. And, and now that LeBron is there, Irving might still be the best player nobody talks about because he's still overshadowed by LeBron. But not anymore, not really, not with that performance. And let's also remember this past summer when Team USA, a team made up of NBA All-Stars, won a gold medal at the World Championships. Irving was the MVP of that team. You know, we constantly talk about how good and how deep the NBA's Western Conference is, and it is, but I think the best team resides in the East right now. I think it's Cleveland. I've always thought Cleveland would be there in the end simply because LeBron is the best player in the game. But he has this tremendous sidekick now named Kyrie Irving. To me, it feels a lot like watching Jordan and Pippen all over again. Right now, if I'm in Vegas, that's where my money's going, on Cleveland, on Kyrie, on LeBron. And that's more with less.